Allison. I'm with Advanced Fertility Care. And I'm going to be walking you guys through your injection teaching. So first we're going to go through the medications that you will be prescribed. Then we'll go over how to actually mix those medications, administer them. Then we'll go through um, your protocol and what to expect during your stimulation. So first we're going to go through the medications just so you know what each one is. First, final F pen. So just know that this one is refrigerated. It's a pre-filled syringe. So you can see the medication in here. Just make sure that you do refrigerate it after each administration. Follistem is the same thing as Gonolef, just a different brand. The only difference is that you do have to fill the cartridge of your medication into this pen and you just keep reusing this one pen. So you'll put in your cartridge in here and then these cartridges are also refrigerated. This medication is the Menipure. So it does come in a powder and water vial. Right here is your water vial with the brown label. Over here is your medication vial, the powder vial, that comes with the white label. Each powder vial is 75 units. So please keep in mind that your Menipure dose can only increase or decrease by 75 units. Pay close attention to your calendar to see what your specific dose is. Menipure will also come with a Q-cap this is to help mix the medication together. Now that you know what all the medications look like, we will go over your calendar. So on your calendar, you're gonna have a couple key things. So here is going over what we want you to do when you start on STEM day one. So starting on STEM day one, please have no caffeine, alcohol, or tobacco. Limit exercise to walking only and avoid any heavy lifting. No Advil, ibuprofen, Aleve, or Motrin and please use protected intercourse only. Also on your calendar, we'll have the estimated day for your egg retrieval. Just keep in mind, this is an estimated date. Your actual egg retrieval day may fluctuate by a day or so, so just please keep paying attention to your calendar and we'll let you know as you keep coming in for appointments when that estimated day may be. On your calendar, it's also gonna go over when you're gonna stop your birth control pills. So these first couple weeks are just going over your birth control just notating that you're on the OCP, the oral birth control pills, or the NuvaRing. So on here, it's gonna notify when you're gonna take your last birth control pill, or if you're on the NuvaRing, just be sure to take it out that evening. You're also gonna have an appointment close to the time that you're gonna be stopping the birth control pill, and that's gonna be a quick cyst check, just to make sure that everything looks good before you actually start your fertility medications. On here, you'll also see STEM day one, on there is gonna go over when we want you to start the medications and how much your dose is gonna be. Starting on STEM day one, please take a baby aspirin. You and your partner, if applicable, are gonna be taking antibiotic. Just take that with food daily for three days. And then on here is also gonna be your injection medication dose. So for example, on this one, the patient is taking 225 units of Gonal F and 75 units of the Metapure. You first get your calendar, it's just going to show you the first couple days of your medications. When you come in for your first appointment, we will then release a new calendar to you that will have the updated dosing for your medications and your next appointment date. This medication is your Generalix. It is your antagonist. You will receive five boxes of this medication. It is left at room temperature. Please check your portal for when you're actually going to be starting this medication. It's about halfway through STEM, so please just check your portal for when you're gonna start this, and you're gonna do the entire syringe. This medication is the Cetratide. It is the same as your Ganarelix, just a different brand. So you will receive five of these, um, and it is a pre-filled syringe that you're gonna mix with your powder. So just make sure that you put the entire amount of liquid into this powder vial, withdraw all of this to do your injection. To mix your Menapure, you wanna grab out all your supplies. So you're gonna have one liquid vial, which is gonna be the brown label, and you're gonna have one powder vial, which is the white label. You also wanna grab one of your Q-caps, your syringe, and an alcohol swab. So to start, you wanna uncap all your medications. So you'll just pop this off and then make sure that you alcohol wipe both of those before you actually start mixing everything. Okay. 
Your syringe is going to come with a needle attached to it. Take this off so that you can mix with the Q-cap. So you're just going to unscrew this off. You can just put it in your sharps container and then now you can grab your Q-cap and attach it to your syringe. First, you want to withdraw air into your syringe and add it to the liquid vial before you actually take out any of the liquid. So you're going to draw this to the 1 ml mark. Then you're going to grab your liquid vial, put the Q-cap on top of it, and then just inject the air into the vial. Then you're going to fully invert this so you'll flip it over and take out one milliliter of liquid. Once you have your liquid in the vial, you'll take this Q-cap off and grab the powder vial that has the white label and you can see the powder in between the labels. You're going to attach your Q-cap to it and then inject the liquid into the vial. Once you do that, just lightly swirl it. Don't vigorously shake it. It'll dissolve pretty quickly, but just lightly swirl it. Once your medication is mixed, you can add your gonal F to this medication. All right, once your Menopure is mixed, just take off this Q-cap, and then you're gonna grab your gonal F or your Folliston pen. So just make sure you grab that out of the refrigerator. For your gonal F, it has a dial right here. So just make sure you look in your window and dial it to your specific dose. So for this example patient, their dose was 225. So we'll just dial this to 225. If you ever go past your dose, you can just go back and forth with the Gonal F pen. Um, but just keep in mind, try not to push in or some medication may come out, but you can dial back and forth. If you have the Folliston pen instead of the Gonal F, just know that it does require that you add the cartridge to it. So you're just going to unscrew the back end of your pen, take out your cartridge, and put it in the pen. Then you're going to screw the back end back on. Then you can uncap it and see that your medication is in the pen. You also want to make sure that you dial this to your specific dose that is on your calendar. Keep in mind with the Folliston pen, if you go past your dose, you cannot go back. You do need to go all the way out and then push back in. And then you can start over to get you to that correct dose. Once you get to your dose, you're going to uncap your Gonal F pen. And you can see the medication inside. Then you want to grab the needle that your Gonal F pen comes with. So first you're just going to tear this off. You'll attach it to your Gonal F pen. So you're just going to screw it on. You'll uncap it. It is going to have a safety protector on the needle. You're going to take this off as well. Once again, just make sure you look in that window and make sure you have the correct dose that your calendar states. Then you're going to grab your Menopure vial and you're going to just push down and add the Gonal F to the Menopure. Once you do that, you'll take this off, cap the needle, unscrew it, and make sure you put this in your sharps container. You also want to check the window and make sure it's gone back to zero. This signifies that you have completed your medication dose. If there's any number remaining in that window, that does mean that you didn't complete your dose. For example, if this still said 50 in this window, either my pen ran out or if I didn't just or I didn't hold on long enough to complete my medication dose. If your pen has run out and there's no medication left, grab a new pen, dial it to your remaining dose and complete your medication dose. If you still have medication left, cap this pen and put it back in the fridge. 
Now that the gonalef is added to your menopure vial, you can take all of this out and do your subcutaneous injection. So grab the syringe you were using before that has the Q-cap attached to it, put it on the vial that has all your medication on it. You're gonna fully flip this over and take everything out. So flip it over and withdraw everything. If you go a little past, you can just push back up. Then you're gonna just unscrew this from the Q-cap. Then you wanna grab your subcutaneous needle and screw this on. Next, you're ready for your injection. Subcutaneous injections are all gonna be in your abdomen. We do ask that you're at least two finger widths away from your belly button. You also wanna make sure that you alcohol the area before you do your injection. So grab an alcohol wipe, find whichever area you wanna go in, alcohol the area, grab your syringe, and then to do your injection, we do ask that you pinch the skin before you inject. So you're gonna uncap your needle. You're gonna pinch the skin, go straight in at 90 degrees, and do your injection. You can keep the skin pinched or let go when you're actually giving your injection. Then you're just gonna withdraw, cap your needle, and put all of this into your sharps container. Now you know how to successfully mix your fertility medications. Please remember that you do need to mix your menopure first, then you can add your gonal F to that. Please keep in mind that you do need to do the Ganarelix or Cetratide as a separate injection. The Gonalef and Cetratide need to be in the refrigerator when not in use.